Hey guys, what's up? Dr. Shred here. Welcome back. Today is an important video. We're going to talk about getting your six pack. Everybody wants a six pack, and I'm going to show you what I do to get mine. We're going to get your rectus going, get your obliques going, get your weight down, and you're going to look good. Let's get to it. So getting your six pack involves two really important things. One, you have to get your abdominal muscles huge. You have to get them banging, you gotta get them developed, you gotta lift heavy weights with them, and that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. Number two, you gotta lose a lot of weight. You have to get just a minimal amount of fat between your abdominal muscles and your skin layer. The more fat you have, the more it's gonna hide your muscles during your hard work. So let's work your abs. I'm gonna show you my video today and what I do, and then you can look at my Lose Your Rind series to maybe adjust your diet, Use some of my high rep, high calorie burns to start burning more calories to change your workout at the gym and get that weight off and get what you deserve to show showing. So when it comes to getting a six pack, let's talk about the muscles that are involved. When people think about a six pack, they really focus just on the center muscle, the rectus abdominis. This muscle runs from your lower chest rib cage all the way down to the front of your pelvis and it's involved with flexing your shoulders and your chest over your pelvis. So the sit up type motion, motion is what develops the rectus abdominis. And that's literally what your six pack is, but that's not all it is. If I hide my sides, I'm not gonna look as good as if I have a six pack and then also have developed side muscles. So let's talk about the other muscles that are gonna make up your six pack and make your abs look great. There's also the obliques. There's the external and internal obliques. And the external are the ones you see when I flex it run down like this. These are the external obliques. They attach from the lower part of your rib cage over to the middle part of your rectus abdominis. And as you can see, the way the fibers run, they're involved with contracting this way. So they pull your chest forward, but they also rotate your chest inward. That's what the external obliques do. The internal sit under those, and they're running the opposite direction. So when you use your externals on one side, you often use your internals on the other to pull and balance you out. So working one of them works the opposite on the other side as well. The most inner layer is the transverse abdominis. This is something you're never gonna see. It's like a girdle that sits just over your intestines, under your externals, under your rectus. And it really helps bear down and put pressure when you need to have a bowel movement or cough or something like that. So it's hard to really work that out, but when you work your abs in general, you're working your transverse abdominis. And when that gets firm and your obliques get firm, it's gonna push your rectus out forward and you're gonna see your six pack a lot better. Getting a six pack involves developing all of these muscles, not just the center rectus abdominis that most people think of. And so the workouts that I show you are gonna show you how to develop all these muscles that I just mentioned. All right, so with that in mind, let's go inside and start working out. I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to get my six pack developed. Now, when I work out, I work out a whole body workout four times a week, and I work in about four of the sets that I'm gonna show you downstairs. So I don't do all seven of them at one time. It's too much on your abs. And you can rotate it around, but you wanna do at least four ab exercises every workout that you do. If you can work out four days a week, that'd be great. And this is not something that's gonna happen overnight. I'm not gonna make you false promises. You gotta work at it, you gotta get your strength up, you gotta increase your weight slowly and safely. And eventually over time, you're gonna get those muscles that are gonna show, especially if you get that fat layer and your rind to go away. So the first thing we're gonna do is the inverted shoulder shrug. This is a great overall body workout. It uses your upper body and your core. It's gonna work your abs, your rectus, and your hip flexors. I'm doing a six pound weight on my feet. You can do it without weights. And I can show you an easier way to do it as well, just using knee ups. And do it till you get fatigued. We'll do about three or four sets of these. I'm gonna pull my shirt up because I can't work out without a shirt in the gym. So you can see the muscles that are contracting. inverted shoulder shrug great workout if you can't do it with weights we're starting off I'll show you how to do just knee ups and you can do it just straight leg if you want as well here's an easier version so you can do it with your knee ups and try it that way as well so this machine 
the weight of abdominal crunch is essential to getting your six pack. This puts a lot of weight on your rectus. It's gonna build it up properly. I'm gonna do it in the center, focus on my rectus. I'm also gonna use my obliques. We'll do an oblique crunch and I'll show you that in a second. Okay, and the real important thing is I want you to work on your obliques as well. So we're gonna drop the weight to a much lighter weight. We're gonna turn our legs to 45 degrees. So not all, all the way, 45 degrees. We're gonna grab with the opposite arm. And we're gonna pull down. So we're gonna essentially crunch with this oblique here. That's gonna get your obliques banging as well. Okay, I feel it here, it feels great. It's a lot of force on your obliques that you're getting stronger. I'm gonna go the other side. 45 degrees facing to the right. Pick it with your left arm. Okay, that's 10 to the center, 10 on each side. We'll count that as 20 reps. Do five sets of those, move it on to the next set. So we're gonna do ab crunches on a parallel bar. We're gonna use this equipment here. Just a couple of parallel bars, easy, you can find this anywhere. And we're gonna suspend ourselves with our arm. We're gonna do straight leg ups first. A set of 10, try to do three or four reps if you can. And then we're gonna do knee ups, which is easier. I do a set of 15 reps, two sets. And then we'll do alternating knee ups, which is the easiest. So we're gonna start from hard and progress down to easy. Now this is gonna use a lot of upper body strength as well. So here come the straight leg raises. Try to keep your leg as straight as you can. Okay, that's 10. Try to do three or four of those if you can. We're next gonna move on to knee ups. All right, since that's easier, we do 15 reps of those. And finally, we're gonna do alternating knee ups. The easiest one, 25 reps. Do about four sets of those as well. Okay, that's 25, do four sets of those. Next, we're gonna do a more advanced move, just a plain L-sit, but this is pretty hard. It takes a lot of hip flexor strength, a lot of core strength. So if you work your way up to this, try to get to this. This is really good. Try to hold it for 10 seconds if you can. Do as many reps, three or four as you can. And we'll keep your feet off the ground and hold it for 10 seconds. So that's 10 seconds. That's gonna wear you out quickly. But it's a great move. Try it and see how you do. If you can't get it, keep progressing and you'll get there one day. Okay, this one is super important. This is really gonna get your obliques defined. And as I mentioned before, if you get your obliques defined, it pushes everything out. It provides support for your rectus abdominis. Makes your whole six pack pop. So to get the obliques defined, remember the obliques, the external run like this. The fibers run from the top to bottom and from the side to the inside. So you need to twist your chest over your pelvis. This motion is what contracts your obliques, twisting like that. So when you do this, it's called the downward wood chop. The important thing is keeping your pelvis straight. Imagine a rod going through your pelvis. You don't want it to twist. You want to keep that rod straight. Put another rod through your shoulders and you want to twist only that. So when I do this, I grab it and I'm going to keep my pelvis straight and twist my shoulders over my pelvis, which contracts my external oblique here. And as I let go, I keep my pelvis straight. So the key is 
not doing this where you're turning your pelvis because then you're really not using your obliques as much. Okay, there's 10. Notice my pelvis didn't move much. All the movements in my shoulders over my fixed pelvis. And that's how you engage your obliques. That's a great workout. Start at a lighter weight, build your weight up, and that's gonna get your obliques bulky. Bulky and get you those individual fibers you see that make your whole abs look good in general. Let's do 10 on the left now. Okay, there's 10 on each side. Do at least three or four sets of those. Get your obliques banging. Let's go to the next exercise. Next exercise is also for your obliques. I don't know what it's called, so I'm gonna call it the oblique rope pull. And again, we're gonna engage our obliques by contracting our abs and also twisting at the same time. So the key to this one is twisting your shoulders over your pelvis. You should feel it engaged in your sides. So let's do this now. Put a little lighter weight on. If you notice, everything I'm showing you is, has weights. And the good thing about it is once you start getting this routine down, you can start gradually increasing your weights in a safe manner, and you're gonna see some bulking occur that's gonna get you that six pack you're looking for. Without these weighted exercises, just doing sit-ups, planks, it's just not gonna work. Next, we're gonna do straight leg raises. You see people at the gym doing this a lot. It helps to get a bar like this, where you can get your legs between it. If you do a straight horizontal bar, your shin's gonna hit the metal and it kinda hurts. So let's just go and do these. Okay, that's a great exercise. Tightens up your abs, your rectus, hip flexors. It gets it all going. Try to do 10 of those, three or four sets. Move on to our last exercise. Okay, and last thing you can do is also L-sit pull-ups. This is just a pull-up. Uses a lot of body strength, but also keeps your legs fixed in an L-sit. Works your abs as well. All right, benefits of a pull-up, L-sits combined. And those are the ab workouts that I do. Try them, see how you do with them. Work your way up to get your abs stronger. You'll really find them rewarding. You'll see some results. Hope this video helped you. Thanks for watching. I just finished Dr. Shred's ab routine. When you have rock hard abs like me, it was easy. Yeah, Dad, the only thing full of rocks in you is your head. Yeah, well, um, uh, Whatever. See what I mean? Bye!